Shut up. This is my party. Today we've got quite a few things going on to be honest with you. I've got a few things to talk about, I've got a few things to go through. We've got some sales, we've got a little bit of charity shopping and we've got one sale which I just think is so cheeky, you have to see it to believe it. Going on from the last video when I was going to change my dynamics, I can't be bothered. It doesn't work for me and guess what? This is my party so I can do what I want to. You either dance or you don't. So it's just a lot easier for me to just do eBay and Vinted. And if I give a shout out, you know they're a subscriber sale. <laughs> I have picked the eBay sales first, so we're gonna do those first, and then we're gonna move on to Vinted, and then we've got a little bit of charity shop footage for you, and then we're gonna go through what I picked up as well. We've got a few little bits down there, actually, some little secret finds, some little hidden gems. Bumped into another stinky reseller, Sam, while I was in there. Still filled a bag. Come on, Sam. Matt won the crab, so the crab is going out in today's postage, and we're going to draw the winner for the little Ikea bag today as well, so stay tuned for that one. First off on eBay, listed yesterday, sold yesterday, £12.50 for a set of these Panasonic house phones. There's two phones and two bases, one with an answering machine. I'm just clearing stuff out, baby. No shout out, so it wasn't a subscriber sale. Do you see how this works? Good, good. This is called a Sklo Union Tetris Clear Vase. I can open it for you, I'll show you. It has that kind of Tetrisy look style thing. Sold this one quite cheap for £20 all in. I say quite cheap because some of the solds have been achieving like 80, 90 quid, 40, 50, 60. Mine wasn't. So there's obviously something wrong with the listing, or they're just not worth that anymore at the time of selling. 20 quid, cleared it out. See ya! £12 each on these now, so we've sold both sets. £24, I paid £5 for a whole bundle of them. These little motorbike enamel pin badges, they all are 99.9% .9 complete. This one's missing that one, and that one is missing that one. £24 all in. Paid £5 for a set of three. I've still got the other one down there. It's like 2% full, that one. £8.89 for a set of five little Transformer bot toys. Again, £5 will pay for a massive bundle. and We've done really well at that one so far. £8.99 for these Johnny B leopard print shoes. Johnny B is actually a sister company of... I can't remember now. I think it's Bowden. I'm pretty sure it's Bowden, I think. I could be lying to you there. £8.99 I sold those for. A set of scout badges, Canadian scout badges. I sold a box of 26, pack of 26, 5 50 all in. Again, I basically went through my store yesterday and deleted and sold similar a bunch of sticky stuff that have been there over a month and loads of it have sold. Most of that you've seen have sold. A bundle of Spares Repairs sat navs, £13.49. There's five in there in total. The Burberry shoes, we've sold those now, £35 all in. They're going to go out today. So I paid £29 for these and some Supergas, which are sold for £17.17. So 35 plus 10, 45 plus 5, 52, 52 quid. Made about 20 quid, 18 quid off that deal. Wasn't the best, it wasn't the best, but I was hoping to achieve 50 on them Burberries, but they were sticking around, so I'll just move them on. Another Amiibo, we've sold Wario now for £10.79. I only got a few of those left now. We have a bundle, I say a bundle of Amiibos, two Amiibos for £20.68, we've got Bowser and King Day Day, King De Day Day, King De Day Day, King De Day Day. Craig has actually picked up this one for his son Mason, so thank you Craig and thank you Mason. I do believe Mason has started a gaming YouTube channel, so if you've got kids or anyone that likes to watch people gaming, his YouTube channel is just down here, it's Rock M 17 please do go check him out and show some love and support. Massively appreciate you both, it's on its way to you today. Sold for £12.99 I think, or £10 something. I sent an offer out, I can't remember. £11.69, appreciate you both. Now this next sale is fantastic. It's not massive, £40.49. pence. I paid £4 for them. And it is these lecky walking sticks. Put the lecky on! Sorry to any Scousers. So who have I done this week? The Scottish and the Scousers. Let's see if I can really piss the world off. I went out for a meal with me, Emma, Ada, and a couple of friends of ours, Jack and Chloe, and their unexpected, no, their unborn child, because I think it was definitely expected. <laughs> went out for lunch, took the kids to soft play, took the kid to soft play, only Ada. 
the other one's not ready yet, still cooking. And we had some lunch and opposite there, there was a charity shop. So I popped in there and picked these up for four pound. But let me just show you the clip. Getting some lunch while we're out taking Ada somewhere. There's a shop over the road. Scope. I picked up some walking poles that are over there. I've just listed them on the floor down here and I'm going to hope and see if we can get a sour while we're having our dinner, but probably not. But it's done anyway. So yeah, I actually listed these outside the charity shop, but just across the road from the charity shop's there. We was there. Just laid them on the pathway in front of everybody. I had to wait for people to walk past and people was going, oh, sorry. I was going, no, no, I'm sorry. You carry on. Got the pictures, got them listed, sold the next day. Fantastic. £44, no, £40 and 49 pence from £4. So that paid for lunch for the day, didn't it? The lunch was like, the meal was 48 quid or something. That, pay, that pretty much pays for it all, doesn't it? Beautiful stuff. I'm going to get that lot packed up and then I'll come back to you for Vinted. Once I've done Vinted, we're going to move over and see what we picked up from the charity shop. One of these items might be very special, not very special, but it's cool to find that in the charity shop. And Mr. Stall will be very happy to see that. I keep forgetting his actual name. Is it Stephen? I think it might be Stephen. Pretty sure it is. All right, let me get that back to him. Right, post is done. Cassandra can come with us, eh? Only Fools and Horses is getting me through at the moment these last few days. So we're moving straight into Vinted now. £10 and a penny. I think I had it listed for a little bit less. They sent me a nice cheeky offer. Wait, it's not cheeky. That's, what shop is it a cheeky? Saucy. They sent me a nice saucy offer. Adrian and Karina has picked this one up. They said they were just looking for a nice HD cam. So it's perfect timing. Paid a fiver from the car boot sale on this one. £10 and a penny. Lovely jubbly. Thank you, guys. Apple Watch Band, genuine white, 38mm, small to medium, sold for £4 all in. Yu-Gi-Oh! Tin. I took some stuff off eBay yesterday that wasn't selling at all. I had this listed for like eleven ninety nine or 12 99 something like that. It's full of little... It's full of like all the medallions and stuff like that. It wasn't selling. Took some screenshots of the pictures, put it on Vinted for £8.88, and it sold in... 15 seconds. Josh has picked this one up. Hi Ricky, I saw you pick this up a little while ago on YouTube and was not sure if you'd sold it somewhere else. No, just sitting stagnant on eBay. I also brought your Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle game a few weeks back. I do remember. Loving every minute of your content, mate. Take it easy, all the best. Josh, massively appreciate that, mate. On its way to you today. Scott has picked up the Pokeball. I actually picked this up at the same time I picked up those hiking sticks. Paid £1.50, sold it for £3.33. Yeah, Scott's picked this one up, so I appreciate that, mate. I hope your kid loves it more than 45 minutes. I've just done all this, but I had paused the video, so I need to remember when I'm pausing to unpause. Got to do it all again. But £5.55, Adrian and Karina also picked up these royal and awesome shorts. Paid £2.95, I think. Thought they were better than they was. But at least they're going to somebody who's going to enjoy them. Wish you could do combined shipping on Vinted. You'd save customers so much money. £18 all in for this 2013-2014, I do believe, Chelsea football top. £18 all in. Paid £3 from a charity shop, I think. Something like that. Imagine Dragons 2013 tour jumper. Ladies size small has sold for £18 and 18 pence. Nintendo DS Animal Crossing sold for £1 and 11 pence. But don't worry, it's only the case and manual. I found this in the charity shop. I opened it up before I bought it, because I always do, because they've got sellotape tape on, I'll break the seal, and it had Nintendogs in it, I told them. So they said, you can buy the case for 50p. So I said, no problem. No, they didn't. They said, you can have the case. I said, I'll pay you 50p. Because I thought I had the Animal Crossing game at home. I don't. But somebody else will, so now they can complete their game. The reversible Timberland jacket, which was one size too small for me. Massive shame. Really like this. Really nice jacket. It reverses into... That, one size too small. It's a size medium. If it was a large, I reckon I could have got away with it, if I'm honest. £21 and 12 pence. Bargains for them. I paid a tenner, I think, from a charity shop. In fact, I'm almost sure I did. Bill the Gent, and what a gent he is, has picked up the Vigar pen desktop, desk vase thing. It's a pen. It's really nice. Quite a cool brand. I actually saw yesterday that D's Tea's actually got a uh, cherry toilet brush cleaner thing it looked very similar to the one that Vega does because that can sell quite well as well but if not i'm just chatting waffle but nice little brand to look out for i paid 50p for that from a charity shop for a little while ago bill says thanks bro taking a lot of advice from your channel and sales are going through the roof do your channel your way and don't listen to the haters it works for you and people watch you for you keep being you bro bill i massively appreciate that even though that ryan lad has replied since and been a massive jackass again I don't. I didn't see it as hate. 
I don't look at that as haters. I think haters is thrown around quite a lot. Like, I understand what you're saying, Bill, and this is not a thing on you, but it's a nice way to touch back onto the other thing. It would take a lot for me to feel like somebody hates me because it honestly just goes, whew, <laughs> it's digital, couldn't give a toss. But I massively appreciate you, Bill. I understand what you're saying. On its way to you soon. That sold for £4.56. 50p into £4.56. We don't mind that, do we? This fucking thing's still recording. Yes. Now, Matt, who also won the crab in the last competition, has picked up a few things from me. So we've sold the plush. I recently found out it actually supposed to have a battery box in there. So originally it had a battery box in there. And then I think it just had stick on wheels. Nothing, nothing major. I'm not too sure. But I didn't realise, obviously, you can tell now. Well, now I've told you, you can really see someone stitched it up. So they've taken out the battery box and just turned it into like a nice soft plush. I think it's really sweet. It's really nice. That sold for £5.55, along with the Games Workshop Necrons Codex for £7.77. And he also picked up the Catapult Feud Hydra Dragon for £5.55. Paid three fifty for that. So not a lot, in it. Paid a pound for that, so I made about six quid on that. And I paid a pound for that, so I made four quid on that. So I massively appreciate you, Matt. I'll add a crab to that. Massively appreciate that, Matt. I'll add a crab to that. I'm a twat. Nice little bundle coming out to you. Unfortunately, I've got to send them all individual parcels because it's, it's vintage. Matt's a good one. A good, good, good egg is Matt. His vintage, by the way, is Matt Ipswich. Some of that stuff might end up back on there. So go check it out. Simon Flash paid £2 for this. Has sold for £7.77. And the man, the myth, the legend, West Lanks Flips. Has picked up the Ralph Lauren polo shirt. Really nice little floral design. 2XL, I believe it is. 2XL. What did he pay? One, two, three, four. I don't mind doing bargains for people. Especially some of you guys that have been around here forever and that is all of the vintage sales so you've had ebay and you've had the vintage i'm going to get those packed up and then we're going to head to the charity shop damn daniel back at it again with the charity shop morning how are you good i've chopped it all off I've just squashed it all how dare you come on i've got no, i'm not i'm not being polite to you mate why not I mean, I'm a nice guy. Like waiting around is what I mean. I know your nose in. What you got? Let's have a look. Come on. Oh, look at that beauty. Here you go. I reckon that'll suit you. Oh, there's one. What about these for you? <laughs> morning. Good morning, Ricky. How are you? Good, good, you're right. Yeah. Sam's stalking me now. Look, here he is. Oh yeah, on video. Famous again. I don't know about famous. Nearly. Be <laughs> Ten quid. Mate, imagine how many times I went gym last week. Uh, every day like me? <laughs> <laughs> every day like me, yeah? I think I went that one day I saw you. I'm going to buy that for a tenner. I hurt my shoulder. Did you? <laughs> what did you do? How did you hurt your shoulder? Same side, I had that trap nerve in there. <laughs> oh dear. What are you going to do? Uh, do Just got to work through it, innit? Yeah. Just got to. No, no, no. Well, trap nerve well, tonight, actually, to be fair. Don't want to kill yourself, do you, really? I've got a big speech. What, from your doc? From your doc? Yeah. Did you see on my video when I mentioned these? I don't know if you've done how much how much you watch, but these B things. I did. They're listed for like they're listed for like thirty five. Yeah, I know, but then they don't sell. No, no sold. Yeah, I thought I'm pretty excited and was like. I bought that thing in the end. They just reduced it to a tenner. Yeah. Just sold it for fifty the next day. Twenty. Twenty just wasn't worth wasn't worth the risk. It's not ten, is it? Not twenty, no. Yeah. <sighs> oh, I think that's, that's it for me. Cause I'm going nowhere. I'm not doing I'm not doing the charity shop run for a bit. Look at this, India. I'll keep that. Nothing oh, here for you. Yeah, I left them there. I saw them. I don't like that kind of shit. It was the. Um, mm, what do they call it? Begins with an M, doesn't it? Exactly why I didn't bother. It would stay in my car as well. How come you didn't get this vintage Man City shirt? 
I'm joking. Well, I'm no Only joking. As if I'm going to leave it behind. <laughs> I'd love to snatch it from underneath your nose. That, that'd be even sweeter than the deal. So you went one day last week. I didn't bother going. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say. Unless you... I can't. I've done the school run. I've been around parents. It's hard on the brain. By the way, I lied. It's got 50 on it, not 20. That is nice. 2002, what? Hmm. I know, 15 quid. I'm gonna Google that. Inspector Q Hu Zhang. Oh, it's Chinese, I don't want that. No offense to the Chinese out there. Voit, let me Google that. In where? I don't care, Lego. Oh, it's just Lego, is it? Yeah. I don't care, mate. Those are little minifigs in there. Tenor. We'll see, just like we'll as well. Uh, WWF. Oh, yeah. The Panther! Yeah, but I mean, like, not different. Yeah. Yeah, well they? they just sell quickly. See, even when there's other dirty, stinking resellers around in the shop, especially this fucking specimen, there's always something to pick up. Oh, right, guess what? Where there's muck, there's brass. You're such a turd. <laughs> just got to get what you can, ain't you? I'm actually going to get these if you're going to leave them. I was thinking about it. Do you want them or not? Um, what, do, what do they go for? They I don't know, but the, I, I've got two I've got two iPod Nanos at home. Oh, no, I'll just them. leave them. Yeah, I'll do that. Part of the package. No, I'm just, going to sleeve, I'm just going to sleeve them. If you get decent board games now, for this time of year, save it up. Save it up for Xmas, but I just can't be f bothered with them. Three quid for a lady is probably worth a grab still. Someone to love you. Yup. Well, that, because I can't see through the bag. Yeah, it's no. always like a mystery box. A big gold mystery. Is there anything in there? Yeah, there'll always be something in there, especially with a tenor on it. Oh, binoculars. Spinoculars. Sorry, mate, I'll get them in a minute. Centop. So even just buying the bag was a good idea, just to, just to <laughs> load the bag up. I've got my loyalty card today. Wow. Would you believe it? I mean, it's still, it's still got to type it in, but can't be trusted with the barcode. Cool, isn't it? It's like a little basketball bag, I think. Again. Thank you so much. What trash have you picked up? Let's have a look. What are they, jar openers? Yeah, it's about 15 inch. It's because it's got little pussy knuckles. Oh shit, sorry. 24, 25 all together. Thank you. Lovely numbers. Oh, you've got five pound loyalty credit. Oh, give it to me. Yeah, I'm going to save it. You're going to save it for yeah. Christmas. Yeah. Right. Save it up. I never, I, never, I never managed to save them, so I'm going to try it. <laughs> I always get too excited sometimes I've got them. Like Same. Them. There we go, ready when you are. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, 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 ding. Ding, 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 ding. Gym tonight as well. Not Tuesdays. Not Tuesdays. Oh, yeah, I can't this guy on YouTube the other day who, um... Ricky Resales. Yeah, well, I see. I'm going to go the back before, so I've got to go out. Enjoy. I hope you fill your bags up. Open some jars, that's right. Found two more things. If I can get out of the door. Oh, bye. Cool, that took a little bit of time, didn't it? My goodness. Where are we? Are we there? eBay's done. Vinted is done. All loaded in the car. 
I'm ready to go. There was quite a few going on today. Before I dive into my charity shop pickups from yesterday and today, yesterday's quite quick to be honest. I had two packages arrive yesterday and I want to talk about them very quickly. So when Mr. Marley sent me a parcel, he wrapped it in loads of caution tape and I was like, oh, I'd, love some, I'd love some caution tape. Some arrived yesterday in the post. A little note in here as well that says, Ricky, I believe you were after some hazard tape when you received a package with some on. Here you go, Phil Higginson. Phil, I massively appreciate that, mate. That's so cool, isn't it? But it's not cheap, though. But you can't be using that as your daily packing tape, unfortunately. But I massively appreciate that one, Phil. I might wrap this around my children and say, stay away. Big up, Phil. And what a beautiful, beautiful landscape. Now, I have a message to the lady who sent me this yet because I wanted her to see the video first, just so she can see that I'm actually using it. I think it's absolutely beautiful, lovely, very calming, very relaxing. I'll find somewhere for it perfectly. But we'll be in the garage wall somewhere. Might even stay there, it looks a little bit... Is it straight? Don't know. But I think that's absolutely beautiful. Let me tell you a little bit about it. So this is from Shazzy. Original watercolour presented to Ricky Lee by the artist Shazzy Coles, SJ Coles. Very good at what she does. Transfer of copyright, yes. So I can do what I want with it, basically. But I won't. I just want it to be one in existence. So the letter reads, Dear Ricky, find enclosed one seascape painting. I have painted this especially for you, in the hope you might find it relaxing, mainly because of your ADHD, but also because you have helped me and it's a way for me to say thank you. And as I said, I really do find that really relaxing to look at. I'm gonna bring it down a minute, get a bit closer. I'm also gifting you the copyright to reproduce prints from this image should you wish to sell them. I don't, I wanna keep them. I wanna keep it as one of one. The edging tape can be changed to suit your decor. That's fine, I love that, it's beautiful. I originally painted for your garage wall, but of course it's up to you where you hang it. Well, that's where it's gone. I do hope you like it. I love it. I more than like it. I love it. That's flipping amazing. All my landscapes and seascapes are painted from memory. So it's of no place in particular, but I like to think of Dawlish in Devon when I paint. I think that's how you say it. Thanks for being a friend, brackets, internet. Friend is a friend. I know you have thousands of people who know you and love you and what you do. Regards, Shazzy. Granny Marseilles and established 1965. They're on the YouTube and the Instagrams. Shazzy, I think that's absolutely lovely. Beautiful. Look at the detail in that. Ugh. See if I can get it in frame, there we go. Look at that. Ain't that beautiful? I love it, I could see myself just sitting on that little rock just there, kicking my legs, just staring out, listening to that sea crashing. Beautiful. Shazzy, I don't just like it, I absolutely love it. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you very much. That is so nice and so cool and so fitting. Bless your heart. Thank you as well, Phil. Maybe I could wrap the caution tape. No, let's not ruin it. Yesterday I popped to the charity shop. I don't know if I'm going to put the footage in because it's probably not worth it. This little duck thing and another Kenji bear. I think this is Pom or something, I can't remember. That's another little Kenji squidgy. Paid £3 for this one and £2 for that. That, it's it's not worthless because I've got a little speaker inside you can actually change your music box and stuff and connect it to bluetooth it's quite cool obviously I thought it was jelly cat first and this one probably about 18 quid again but then today as you've just seen I went into the Chazza and we picked up a Rohan Corti ladies for three quid that sells for about 12 to 15 pound Jesus am I sitting too far close there we go for two pounds fifty we've got a nice little vintage WWF black panther or Jaguar. This is one of the Anna Club plushes. They sell quite strongly, 15, 20 quid. However, this one doesn't seem to come up very often. The last few solds have been in the last two years. And when it does come up, it sells for about 18 to 25 quid. So I'm hoping to do really well on that one. I really like it, it's really nice. Two pounds 50. Don't forget we're gonna draw this one soon. This was two pounds 75, I think, or three pounds 50. No, this was three pounds 50. Little Radley of London card wallet, still has the little Radley tag in there. I think there's gonna be about 12 to 15 pound on that. I could be wrong because the one that I saw was a blue color. I think this is probably a bit more of a desirable color, don't you? So three pounds 50 into hopefully 18 pound. Picked up these nano sleeves. Sam actually picked them up and then put them down. So I went have a look, I was like, 
you're going to get them a what? He said, I don't know, actually. I was being polite. You put them down, you lose them, brother. So I was being polite, and then he's like, yeah, I might do. I was like, cool. He said, what, what, what are you going to do with them? I've got two iPad Nanas up there, so I'm just going to sleeve them. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add some sleeves to it. £1.50. You get about 15 quid for a brand new pack. There's one missing out of there. I don't know, maybe seven quid. But I'm going to use them. Real Hide, made in England, Coca-Cola, bifold wallet thing. You put your cards and stuff in there, a bit of cash. Just Coca-Cola merch, basically. So anyways, more picked up. Very elegant. I'm guessing it was given to like managers or sales reps or something like that. Probably had their, all their business cards in there. 75 pence I pay for that. It's always worth a pickup. Picked up this really nice Voigt vintage bag. It says on here, Voigt I can Ido basketball. I'm guessing Idaho. Idaho. Is it Voigt can? Is it is the whole brand called Voigt can? Voigt Canada, Idaho, Canada. No, Idaho. Anyway, it's a basketball brand. There you go. It's a nice looking bag. It was only three quid, I think. Three pounds fifty. Had a quick look online. Some of the bam, some of the fanny packs and bam bags are listed for like sixty to eighty quid. A tracksuit sold for thirty. Some of the bits are unsold. Obviously, them bum bag things are unsold. But it's got a really nice vintage appeal. It's in great condition. And oh, I've got no issue hanging on to that. So hopefully we get like 40, 50 quid out of it. That would be nice. But most potentially it won't sell for two days and I'll go, right, that's it, I'm reducing it. And then I picked up this, what I believe to be a cigarette case, I think, for £1.50. But I think it's actually silver. It's got some hallmarks on it. Some of the hallmarks, it's got a little, it's got an owner's thing there. Yeah, £1.50. I'm just going through the hallmarks now. Let me pull this off. I was just going through the hallmarks and it has the... Lowercase c, which I'll put a screenshot of, but lowercase c, which apparently means London. It's got the lion, which means something to do with sterling silver, but then it's also got the anchor on this side, along with the c and the lion, and then a d and an e. I've done a little bit of research into it, so I think it might be silver. When I first picked it up, I thought it's probably going to be some kind of like pewter or something, and then I saw the hallmarks and thought, well, oh, I'll have that. No idea on the value, if I'm honest. The little clips inside here are elastic and they are starting to perish that's going to happen isn't it but for one pound fifty i think i'm leaving a potential bit of silver behind no, no, no. and then for 10 whole pounds we picked up all this lego stuff a box someone's obviously just emptied it into a bag and said i'll donate that but it's got some older mini figures in here loads of cars built harry potter some more mini figures don't know who that is just loads of little random bits so I'm going to go through that. But I said to the lady, she's like, oh, that's a good deal. I was like, yeah, it could be a good deal. As long as like it's all Lego. Well, I can see in here, there's a few bits that are not Lego. Like, that's an Airfix quick build. It's not Lego. These are Lego. This is all Lego. That is part of the Airfix quick build. So is that. But just a cool little bag of bits. I'll pick out anything that I think is jemmy or anything that I can put together as a bundle, sell all that, and then the rest of it, I'll just job lot it on Marketplace. Oh, Marketplace sales. Forgot to show you about those, didn't I? I sold the bread maker that I picked up for £4. Sold it for £40 over on Marketplace because I couldn't bother to pack it. It's only £49.99 on eBay, so I thought I'll just Marketplace it for £40. Sold, see ya. Sunday, quarter to four, and we have sold the bread maker on Marketplace. Four pound pickup, and I've sold it for 40 pound. I could get 50 on eBay, but why waste with the hassle? That doesn't make sense. Why deal with the hassle? I've also listed the spinny thing, the blender on there, and the two Tommy Bahama chairs, because obviously it's back end of summer now, picked up at the wrong time. Paid 20 pound for the pair. Selling them both tonight for £30. And if they don't arrive, I've got another list of about 50 people that want them. So I'll make a tenner and clear that space. So there we go. Right, should we pick a winner for that IKEA bag then? Come on! Right, so as always, we will take the web link from the video and slap it into random comment generator picker thing. Anything goes on this one. This is for the IKEA bag of dreams. And we have 231 comments on that. My goodness. And the winner is Blue6799. Hi, Ricky. Loving the content. Don't listen to negative comments on the items you sell and the price you sell it for. Like I said in the previous comment, any profit is good profit. 
keep up the great content. Congratulations. Thank you for entering blue. Congratulations. The bag is now yours. And I didn't really see his comment as negative, if I'm honest. I just saw it as incorrect. So I just wanted to address him. I think he's just a little bit jealous, if I'm honest. But that happens, doesn't it? Put ourselves in the public view. We get loads of comments. Good, bad, incorrect. Sometimes I like to correct people. Sometimes I can't be bothered. <laughs> but we put ourselves out there and we get the, we get all sorts of comments. Good, bad, ugly, whatever. I'm so hungry, my tummy's rumbling, so I need to go and get some lunch. Massively appreciate all of you who picked something up. Really appreciate your time watching this video. And I'll see you on the next one. I'm going on holiday on Friday, so I might be a bit slack on videos. Take care and I'll see you on the next one. Don't forget to message me.